Hold on, Don, you're muted. <laughs> Can you unmute yourself? Or let me try to unmute you. Hold on. I got okay. it. Okay, then you can start over. Go ahead. Happy Sunday, everybody. Thanks for joining us on this impromptu Sunday afternoon call. And really, I just wanted to uh, go plug in my computer because I'm running out of battery. Always a treat, right? What do you need, Don? I'm just plugging in my computer so I don't run out of battery. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, I'm back. Um, so pay setting to six figures. We came up with a mission statement because we wanted to be super clear about what this group is about and what we're trying to accomplish. And so we work together and our mission is to support individuals with a dream or a vision of creating a six-figure income to better the lives of themselves and their families and live their dreams by creating the framework and foundation for future success. And so we understand that this group, that that's the vision and that's what you're working towards. And we understand that everybody in this group for, um, has a lot of other time commitments and it maybe isn't quite there as far as really ready to push it to go six figures this year. Maybe some of you are, but you know, we know everybody's in various stages. So we created this group to kind of bring everybody together and support you because you do see that it's possible. And you see that this is a fact. The average American spends 86,400 hours of their life at work. And we would rather be at home with our kids and at home with our grandkids or traveling the world or, or taking that time for, you know, not being in the office to, to give back and volunteer for a cause that we're really passionate about. Um, some of us, want to be cyclists. Some of us want to um, be a personal trainer for the Olympic team. Some people, like we have passions, we have dreams, we have big things that we want to accomplish and we're not going to accomplish those things if we're at work for 86,400 hours or, you know, 40 hours a week or whatever it is. And so we know we want to be someplace else. We know we want control of our own time and we want to be spending it the way that we want to spend it. And that's, as, as a group, the pay, setters, the pay setters to six figures share this vision. We also are very clear, and did you guys know this? 82% of women in America who make $100,000 a year or more are doing it through direct sales. Like, this is a real thing. <laughs> Network marketing is real. Direct sales are real. As an industry, we're bigger than the NFL. As an industry, we're bigger than Hollywood. And gross income and so it's it is, network marketing is real uh, isogenics is stellar in the industry and people are making that money and if you look around at all of the women earning money in the US in in very in corporate America whatever 82% in direct sales isn't that crazy I, I think it's crazy and I think it's awesome because it's us right that we're in the right place at the right time so you know we well, I have a vision and I shared it with all of you. My vision is to co-create 50 six-figure earners in 2017. And so we started this year and we all got behind that vision and these groups started forming and some people, um, you know, weren't in the group right at the beginning. Some people were in the 365 group and realized that maybe that they, they weren't quite ready for the intensity of the group because the 365 group is pretty intense. Like we're, we're really serious about getting to that six figure number. And um, so we're doing a lot of work to get there. So for whatever reason, I know there was some shifting around and this group got a lot bigger in the process of uh, people getting added and people getting brought in. 
And so it, it was a process. And I know like a couple of weeks ago when we did our first video that it was still happening, the groups were still forming and now we're formed. So I wanted some clarity moving forward about what this group is about. And I'm taking ownership, that ownership for unclear communication. It wasn't really unclear communication. It was just where we thought we were when we were talking about accountability and what the group was going to be and what we were going to be doing. So I just wanted to own that and say that, you know, in, in the resulting time, the groups have formed. And now our mandate is to, is to really serve the majority in this group. And so that's what we're going to do. So currently we have how many people in, in the pace setting group, Tara? I think we're up to 43. So 43 people in the pace setting group. And what we're doing is we have the, the big group and you'll see posts come up there and you, you want to pay attention to the posts because that's how we're communicating, you know, and I'll get into all that in a minute, what we're doing. And then you have subgroups. So you all are in a subgroup. You might be in Denise and Carrie subgroup. You might be in Tara subgroup. Everybody's in a subgroup and you have a subgroup leader. And that's the person that's really going to support you in, um, you know, working on those, the challenges and the weekly assignments and really supporting you in, in, in laying this foundation so that you can next year or the year after, whatever, whenever it is, go for that six figure number, right? But there is, we do need to lay some groundwork. So <clears throat> we're basing everything that we do on a week on weekly activities. And what we what we're doing is we've, we've created this weekly scorecard. And the weekly scorecard is essentially your weekly assignments, right? And so each it's going to be a pretty consistent format each each week, there's going to be a scorecard that looks like these. And it's going to be the first thing is going to be to watch a video, it's going to be some kind of training video, it's either going to be um, a video on one of the basic building blocks, or it might be Tara's uh, how to build your brand on Facebook, whatever it is, it'll be a video, usually 20 minutes, maybe. Um, and then, then there will be a direction to familiarize yourself with a website or a resource, a tool like Isogenics Business or Isogenics Health or ISA movie or ISA products or one of the many, many, many websites that we have that, 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 are available as resources and so there will be watch watch video go to a website and then there will be an assignment like number three on the scorecard is going to be an assignment a weekly assignment like develop your 30 second story or um, other examples Tara well um, this week is reach out to 10 people on your list of 50 and warm up the connection and stuff like that right so Simple stuff, but stuff that, again, building blocks to get you in the right direction. So there's going to be an assignment. Then there's going to be an advanced assignment that's going to be a little more in-depth. It's, it's going to take all of that and kind of take it to the next level. And then there's the matrix, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Um, that's number five. And then we have a write-in place for the weekly juicy challenges. Now, we're trying to keep this group pretty focused and streamlined. And so we're not, we haven't been posting a lot of the juicy challenges, but you can hop on our calls, which are Wednesday morning, Wednesday evening, 845. And you can find out about those juicy challenges that we're doing in the 365 group. Or you can ask your small group leader and say, Hey, what are the juicy challenges this week? And she can explain it to you. Your best bet is to actually get on the call because the call is like 15, 20 minutes maybe and it pretty, goes pretty in depth about what the juicy challenge is and how you do it and um and they're awesome they're awesome you actually you don't want to miss them but you know if you're already on overload that's something that you might want to skip so you know it this is all up to you so this is what the scorecards look like and you can see what i'm talking about you check off um watch this youtube video you check off i i went to isogenicsbusiness.com and i reviewed the tools usually at least 15 minutes spent um, reviewing whatever website. Then you can check, reach out to 10 people on my list of 50 and warm up the connection. Um, just you warm up the connection, obviously, so that you can talk to them in the future about isogenics. And, you know, we'll, we'll talk, be talking more about that in the small groups. And then you, one, two, three, four, the advanced challenge is um, setting up a launch party. 
and then you see the boxes for the complete two three four five of the matrix now um, in order to submit a complete scorecard you have to have one two three four checked off and you have to have completed at least two of the matrix and I know matrix maybe is going everybody's head we're going to talk about it in just a minute and then you can write in the juicy challenge that you completed if you did one to complete a scorecard but a completed scorecard to qualify you'll see it's coming uh, to qualify for our, our, our really fun prize has to have one two three four and two of number five two of the matrix um, checked maybe you could number those Tara if that's not too much trouble but the first four plus two of five so accountability and we've talked a lot about this so these assignments are not man mandatory right they're not mandatory however if you're not interested and or, or not willing to at least do those first three every single week those first three assignments the watch the video and the one you know basic assignment challenge then this group might not be a good fit for you right now this might not be the place for you to be because because if you don't do those minimal things I mean we're building every week we're, these are building blocks so we're, we're, we're taking the first building block and then we're gonna build on it next week and then we're gonna build on it the next week and if you're not following along and doing at least those basic things you're gonna be a little bit lost right so um, and it's it, it just might not be your time for whatever reason family commitments or you know health issues or elderly parents or you're on vacation for a month hallelujah <laughs> or whatever it is so um, and you're also you've got these small group leaders right and they're there to support and guide and educate and encourage and they're also there to, to to help you to give you some structure and they might your small group leaders might give you like a random challenge for the week like they're they'll be adding their own what they're from their own experience and their own they'll be adding to your group so you know you have your weekly scorecard but you also have whatever your small group leader is instructing and um, and then of course again those weekly juicy challenges which will we didn't want to confuse or overwhelm anybody in this group so they're they're happening in the other in the 365 group but again you can get on the calls we'll post the calls if you want to get on them we'll post the call every week for the juicy, juicy challenge and you can choose to get on if you want so the matrix I keep talking about the matrix we've had a lot of conversation about the matrix the matrix is our key to success the matrix is is that daily persistent consistent activity that's going to win the game and we're super clear about that we know that that matrix is the engine that drives this forward and we know that following the matrix and, and doing the matrix consistently is what's going to bring people through into your pipeline and through that decision-making process to enrollments so um, sorry about that the matrix must be done five out of seven days a week I should fix that that's um, the 365 group that's what they're committed to doing and being held accountable to um, for you in order to have a completed scorecard again you don't have to do the matrix but you can't submit a completed scorecard without doing at least two days of the matrix and what two days of the matrix looks like this is one complete day it's two new connections I'm gonna go over all these in a minute three team development activities four recognition random acts of kindness or acknowledging awesomeness I like to call it or five follow-ups and, and five follow-ups so two new connections three team development activities four random acts of kindness or gratitude or acknowledging awesomeness and then five follow-ups and this is what that looks like we're spending some time on this because the matrix is so key to success again maybe you're brand new you're going through the building blocks but if you really want to like dig in and start making this a reality you want to take on the matrix and you want to fill out at least two a week so you make your own form everybody does it different most of us just hand write the two three four and five we just write in what we've done and like who it was and we submit it to our leader so new connection what qualifies as a new connection um, Robin do you want to do this or do you have background noise nope I'm here sorry um, a new connection is um, 
someone that uh, you meet in a store, someone that you meet um, online, that you uh, share your isogenic story with or that um, has presented interest in isogenics. So um, if somebody writes, you know, I got, a, I got a message from someone the other day on Facebook and it said, hey, looks like you're doing great. I really want to learn more about what you're doing with the, your health and nutrition program. That's a connection. I reached back out to her and she's now in my pipeline. So you want to think, um, is this person going to be added to my pipeline? So if you are reaching out and we really want you to be reaching out and connecting with people on Facebook and LinkedIn and all of those things, but we also want you to build your relationship gradually with those people and not just jump right in and say, have you heard about my nutrition program? Let me tell you all about it. You really want to build up that relationship and wait for them to ask about your what you're offering and the opportunity that you have. So until they do ask or until you do tell them about isogenics, they are not a connection. They're a connection when you actually bring isogenics isogenics into the conversation. Um, so again, you know, you sharing a video with someone, you having a conversation, we say sharing your isogenic story, but it basically can be a video, it can be a link, it can be through ISIS, your mobile ISA sales tools app, it can be through um, getting them on a phone call or getting them to event. There's many, many different ways you connect, but it has to be bringing isogenics into the conversation some way, somehow, and them being interested them showing interest in, in what you're, what you're offering, not just one way, if that makes sense. Yeah. And so then we have team development. And I know that there's a lot of people on, uh, in the pace setting group who don't necessarily have a team yet, right? You don't have a huge downline. You don't have people building under you. You're just starting out. And so you want to shift those three team development activities. You want to shift that three into the new connections, because if you're new, you really need to be feeding your pipeline, we call it. You really need to be sharing your story with a lot of people and reaching out and, you know, going to networking events or maybe going to meetup groups or, you know, maybe at your maybe at your book club or your gardening club or wherever it is that you're talking to people, you want to be sharing your story. And so, you know, if you don't have a downline, don't worry about it. Just shift those those threes into twos, into, into that first, into the new connections. So do five new connections in a day but again you have your mandate is fill out at least two of these a week so so that's two and three number four uh, this is my favorite one this is it's easy and it's not right because we all feel like we're giving people and kind people and sharing and caring but um it's <laughs> there you do nice things um so I don't know a lot of you know Tony, my man who lives here, and he was putting dawn, 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 and dawn for his four random acts of kindness every day. And he really does do a lot of really kind and wonderful things for me. But Robin told him, and that's his job. <laughs> he's not allowed to count them. And so now he's he's having to go out and hold the door for people and let people cut in front of him in traffic. And um, I can repost it again. There's lots of nice things you can do to reach out and lots of nice things you can do for people if you're out and about, right? If you're out and about, you can always find a way to create a random act of kindness. Bring somebody a cup of coffee at work or pay for somebody behind you in line at Starbucks, whatever it might be. If you're not out and about a lot, if you're home a lot, then your 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 random act of kindness and your your acknowledging awesomeness needs to to happen more generating from you and out like on the phone or on Facebook. Um, so one morning I was, uh, I had done a, a, my, I changed my profile picture. A lot of people just liked and commented and everything. And so I, I sat and I reached out to everybody who was not already on my team. And I, um, some of them, I just warmed up the connection and say, Hey, I haven't heard from you a while. It's uh, thanks for, thanks for liking my profile picture. How are you doing? What's new and good? Some of them I said, um, like I reached out to my sister-in-law's mom and I just said, I just wanted to tell you, you brighten my world. You are, you're such a gift. You, you're, you're kind and wonderful and sweet. And, and you know, you're out on Facebook, just bringing that lift in everybody up and make them feel good. And I just, I just appreciate that so much. You know, the world needs more people like you. And I called that an acknowledging awesomeness. Right. And it took me, it took me, 15 seconds and I'll tell you it made her day I mean she wrote me this long huge long message back oh my gosh you have no idea I needed that today that made such a difference to me so 
and and I can tell you, writing somebody a card, you know, a little thinking of you, a thank you note, whatever it might be, handwriting a card and sticking it in the mail, that always qualifies. Because who doesn't like to receive a real piece of mail right now, right? So there's there. This will be posted. Tara's going to post this in your group. There's lots of um, things you can do that that qualify in that category. And here's. Here's the hard one. Um, some people think it's hard. Some people don't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't put that out there in the universe, right, Robin? Um, but Robin, do you want to take us through what qualifies as a follow-up? You're muted. Sure. We went. We went back and forth on this. And really, what what I love to say, I had this conversation with one of my team members the other day. Is with this whole entire matrix, you really want to be looking at. Um, you know, two things. One, when you put a name down or when you put something down in your matrix, is this going to be growing my business? I mean, really, I mean, if you're just putting in names or if you're just doing things to fill holes, really double think that because you're putting in a lot of effort into this and, you know, you really do want it to be growing your business. So first of all, you know, say, is this going to, is this person or is this act that I'm doing going to be growing my business? Ask yourself that. And the second thing is, is it going to bring my vibration higher? You know, is it going to be attracting people to me and my team? And with the random acts of kindness and the recognition, I love to bring that up. And I, I thought that was a really good point that I brought up to one of my team members. Like when you put something down in the random acts of kindness, really think, is this going to be bringing my vibration higher to attract people to me? Is this making me feel, you know, more energy and more vibrant and, and joyful and happy? And, uh, you know, if it's not, if it's, it's, if it is, you know, something like opening up doors is great. I'm not going to take that away. And, and that technically that is filling it in. But if you're you're going to do something like open up a door versus send someone five ice delights as a little goodie basket and put it in the mail and say, you know, some chocolate to make your day brighter, you know, like there's a huge difference there in, in being in what you're doing and what you're producing and what you're bringing back to yourself. So I just wanted to, to kind of go over that and kind of expand on that. But with the follow-up, I just wanted to say, follow-up, um, Eric Ori is a huge trainer in the network marketing industry, and he states that basically a follow-up is bringing someone one step further to their decision. So it doesn't necessarily, and what we're doing in this matrix is not necessarily making them or bringing them to a decision because sometimes if you do that, you bring them to a decision before they're ready and you're pushing it a little bit and, and not getting the right energy and not the, and then not the right results. So, you know, it's basically calling up someone and saying, or sending a text or, you know, anything that you're doing and bringing them to the next step, whether it's inviting them to, you know, our great game show call that we're going to be doing next Thursday night, or whether it's bringing them to an experience isogenics call or bringing them um, online to a virtual Facebook event, or you know, setting up a phone call, setting up a coffee with them, doing anything that's gonna bring them, having them look at something. I mean, you could just send them, it doesn't, you could send them a video, or you could send them a link on, you know, these are the 10 foods not to, you know, that are, that are toxic, that you shouldn't have in your diet. Hey, look at these, and let me know what you think. Are you, are you eating any of these? What do you guys think about this list? Having them look at a list and give you feedback. It can be so many things, but basically it's moving them through and having your next action item ready, whether it's looking at something or setting up an action item. So um, these don't have to be hard. They don't have to be diff They don't. They don't have to be huge. Again, it doesn't have to be bringing them to an event or getting them on a call. It can be many, many things. But basically, it is following up with them, having that interaction, and having that next step set up. It might be just it's setting up an appointment to have coffee and talk about the products. You know, it might just be, hey, let's meet for coffee, and I'll tell you what I've been up to. It might be bringing them to see Peter. Like that's a, this is a, that's a slam dunk for Effingham right now, right? Just, just getting people to come see Peter. He's amazing. It's, it, I think you're selling out, right, Tara? You think you're going to sell out? Oh yeah, we will. Um, another thing is my amped call. That's going to be in a couple, um, in a couple Thursdays, uh, inviting people to that amped call. Uh, it counts as a, one of the orange there, number five. If they say they're coming. If they say, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so you can invite, you know, a thousand Facebook friends, but unless you've actually had a PM message with them. Or no, you have to message them, yes. That's what they I mean. have to say that they're going to, they have to say that they're going to get on. And then if they don't get on, right, for whatever reason, you follow up and you say, oh, what, did you get on that AM call? I didn't see your name. Did you get on? Um, and they say, oh, you know, so-and-so got, got it, life got busy, you know, I didn't have a chance. And then you set up another appointment. 
and that counts again. Now you don't want to, <laughs> you don't really want to clog your matrix with missed appointments, but anytime you reset an appointment, move them to the next step, it, it counts as number five. So um, I didn't read everything. You can read it uh, when Tara posts it. Just wanted to give you like what's behind it. You know, there's a million examples that would fit in each of these boxes. I just want to give you the intention behind it so that, that it makes sense to you. So the weekly scorecard. Why complete the weekly scorecard? Well, it'll give you structure, which a lot of us need, right? It'll have you focused on income producing activities versus, oh, I spent 20 hours working my business this week. Well, that's great, but what it, did you actually do things that were moving you forward, or, or was it like, did you just get on Facebook for 10 hours and call it work in your business? You know what I mean? There's a lot of busy work that can happen that we can say we're working our business, but we're actually not really doing anything that's, that's moving us forward, the training, the calls, the follow-ups, that kind of thing. So it'll give you structure. It'll help you stay on track. And I don't know if everybody knows this, but... Every time you check a box off a list, every time you check off a box or a list, something off your list of things to do, it gives you a dopamine hit to your brain, right, Amanda? Like, that's why you feel good when you're checking off your list. That's why it feels so good, because you're actually, you're actually changing your brain neurochemistry. You're actually giving yourself a little dopamine hit. So we set you up for some positive brain dopamine hits for the week. Um, you can look that up. I, I gave you the link. It's pretty interesting if you didn't realize. It's, it, it's an interesting. Um, it, just go to the website and check it out. You will know if you're doing this weekly scorecard. You will know in your heart of hearts. You're not just working your business. You will know that you're doing something to provide a stronger financial foundation for yourself and your family. And your dreams are waiting for you. So let's go get this done, everybody. But and, there's an and, right? If you fill out your weekly scorecard and you submit it to your small group leader, your weekly, you just fill it out you, every week, you submit your picture of your weekly scorecard complete and your name goes in a hat for a boss box. And we're really excited about these. Um, this is what you see in this picture was just the best I could do at the moment. There's lots of stuff underneath there, right? And the boss box is full of great goodies to support your boss life. And there's going to be, there's a gratitude journal in there. There's some fun golden gold. This, this is just a sample. This isn't even necessarily what marches will be. This is just an idea. There's a gold and silver glitter pen. There's um, a journal that you got this journal. There's a little piece of inspirational jewelry in there. I think be brave, be happy, be strong um, underneath. I don't even know what's underneath lots of other good stuff. So this is what the boss book box looks like, and it's gonna, and it's also gonna have, you know, office supplies to support you in your home-based office. So we are really, really excited about these. I think they're a lot of fun. And to win one, all you have to do is submit that completed scorecard every week. Just send it to your small group leader, and they'll let Tara know, and your your cards will get um, put in a box. Uh, you print them out, print them out, fill them out, and then take a picture and upload them. Is the way to send them to your small group leader, and. Um, get put in a drawing, a monthly drawing will start in March. We're going to start this in March. So you'll have, in theory, if you're doing it, you, you'll have four entries in March to be able to win one of the boss boxes. So print out the weekly scorecard, complete it. You have to have two of those matrix entries checked off. Write in an extra juicy challenge if you completed it. It's not mandatory, but we'll feel good to say you did it. Uh, take your picture, upload it, and then we're going to do the drawing. And just remember when you're checking off your boxes that, you know, we're not going to be following up and double checking, but your integrity is not worth compromising just to win a box. So be honest, don't cheat, actually do the work before you check off the box and then send them to your coach. So in closing, are you clear on your why? And if you're not clear on your why, get clear on your why. Watch that Simon Sinek video. Tara, if you uh, want to post it in there, I think you've posted it already, but maybe post it again, the Simon Sinek video on what's your why. It's awesome. If you're not clear on your why, get clear on your why, because that's what drives you. That's what drives us. That's what drives. 
It drives me, knowing your why drives me and so committed to everybody living their dreams. And so here's my belief. My belief is get clear on your why, get clear on your goal, whatever it is, get super, super, super clear, have a picture in your head of what it looks like to be living that life. Have a picture in your head of what it looks like if you've made that goal. Have a, have a picture in your head of what it looks like if you're actually home every day with your kids, right? Instead of getting in the car and going to work. Have a picture in your head of what it looks like to be, you know, living in London. I mean, like have a picture in your head of what it looks like and have a feeling in your heart of how it feels to be living that life, to be there, to have, to have accomplished your goal and be at that place. Like feel it and see it and then get into action because you don't need to know the whole roadmap. You don't need to know every single step along the way of how you're going to get from, from point A to point Z. You don't have to know all the steps. You just have to be super clear about what you want and get into action because as soon as you get into action, the universe is going to match you step for step. I don't, you, you can have your, whatever your belief system is, God or the universe or a higher being or whatever it is. I use the universe because it's more universal. And um, if, if your belief is God, God will match you every step of the way. I, I so believe this. Doors will open. New people will come into your life who can help you. Opportunities will appear when they weren't there before. And, and the magic starts happening, right, Robin? Like, have we seen this happen over and over and over again? Get clear on a goal, goal get into action, and man, the magic starts happening. Like, it's, it's awesome. So I'm going to leave you with that. Get clear on your why, and let's get into action. We've given you the steps. We, we're, we're actually creating the roadmap. So really, don't, don't worry about the roadmap, because we got your back. It's right here. Just stick with us. Let's do this together. And I... I'm super excited about what we're all creating together. I, I am. Um, does anybody have anything to add? Tara, the pace setter, pace setting the six figures leader. I know she's been doing a lot of work with all of you um, to try to help you out with your Facebook posting and getting this structure to be something that works for, for everybody. Did I miss anything or is there anything anybody wants to add? I don't think you missed anything, Robin. I think everything was clear. But the, um, the, the one person on this call, Sue, is the one person that is on the call live that um, is in our pace setters group. Sue, is it clear to you? Oh, wait. I got to unmute you. Hold on. Yes, I got it unmuted. Okay, okay. I, I followed it 100%. I look forward to when you actually – to be able to go through the video slower so I can write everything down a little bit better. But yes, I did follow everything. Thank you. Okay. Good. Thank you for that, Tara. Thanks, Sue, for being on the call so we could make sure that, um, that we were communicating clearly. You know, I, I know that you know, sorry about the light. I had just come over and plug in. I know that you know that that's a, that's a big deal for me to know that we're communicating clearly. And I know, you know, sometimes it all seems so obvious, you know, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes the steps along the way that seem really obvious to me or to Robin might not be obvious at all or, or to Tara or to Amanda. And so we really want to make sure that that we have everybody grounded and, and caught up and, and just shout out, Sue, if anything you see, posts or anything you see don't make any sense to you. So thanks, everybody, for getting on. So I had somebody to talk to <laughs> for the call. And i um, really excited, really, I mean, genuinely super excited about what we're creating with this group 43 people 43 people in this group who um are looking to change their life and make some magic happen so let's go make it happen thanks everybody thank later you. thank you don thanks thank guys you. thanks Aaron, Robin. Right.